Okay, I'm just gonna start by saying this. Techniques, once again, when it comes to manifesting, don't matter, but it's what you give meaning to. So if you give meaning to techniques and you're like, okay, I'm doing this manifestation technique, you obviously already have the assumption that if you do something, it's gonna have a reaction, it's gonna have an effect. Some people don't even believe in manifestation and all, and that's why it becomes a manifestation of them not believing in it. So guess what happens? Nothing happens. Manifestation doesn't happen because they have an assumption that it doesn't happen. There is no right or wrong way to do something. There is no specific way. Obviously, of course, there's specific ways in doing techniques, you know, specifically catered to rewiring your subconscious, rewiring your mindset. But what I'm gonna tell you right now is, you guys, stop focusing on the time. Stop focusing on what if. Stop focusing on is this really, stop focusing on well, how long. Like, none of that is needed. When you are manifesting, you need to stop putting these things on pedestals. Manifesting is about living a certain life in a certain way and persisting within what you're telling yourself. Use positive self-talk, use inner karma, use whatever you have to, but do not put things that help you get what you want on the pedestal. Because once again, guys, you are the pedestal. You are the one that's on the pedestal. And if you put something else on there, you're only gonna be giving that attention. This even goes for when you think about certain things you're wanting to manifest and you're like, well, is this really gonna happen? Well, am I really gonna get it? Once again, what are you focusing on? You cannot focus on, am I really gonna get this and expect to, I want this, I got this, because it's really just gonna be up to what you focus on. And that's what today's video is about. What is up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jay Legend. I am your local manifestation, mindset, and lifestyle coach on this YouTube platform. I create videos on this channel about reprogramming my mindset to my desired lifestyle and my desired reality. And I bring every single one of you guys on my personal journey of self-development, self-concept, spirituality, and so much more. So please feel free to click the blue butterfly right here and join the butterfly gang. The butterfly gang is a community on this YouTube channel that is constantly evolving, existing, experiencing, and manifesting within this beautiful human experience. I am so happy because like we are literally the most amazing, we're the most successful, we're the most abundant YouTube community in the whole entire world. Anyway, let's just jump straight into the video. Today's video is going to be specifically catered to SATs, which is stay akin to sleep. It's basically a technique where you get into the theta state before you're falling asleep like right before you're about to fall asleep where you're drowsy you're sleepy you're not really sure of what is what you know some people even talk in that phase like they're just like half in sleep half not um you basically don't know what's real from what's not real and this is called the theta state and at this point in time where you are about to fall asleep is where you can rewire your mind. Your subconscious mind, which is something that makes you see what you're seeing, is very open. Even though your subconscious mind is always open, guys, you're always conscious, these are certain point in times where your mind really is open to be rewired. And that's why it's called stay akin to sleep. Basically, I'm gonna be talking about this question that one of you guys sent to me, and this basically was, how long should you practice SATs to see results? So I started this video by saying, and I'm gonna continue what I was saying, stop putting a time period, stop putting a specific standard stop putting these things to a standard because what i'm going to tell you guys is your point of focus is what matters if you focus on how long this will take and if you basically would try to do the math with manifesting like you just need to cut it because it's not meant for that when you persist within living your life you're always thinking thoughts you're always taking action you're always doing things unconsciously if you're going to choose to think about how long you need to do something by the book it's not even about by the book it's about really allowing and flowing and surrendering. You simply know that you can manifest anything that you want. You simply know that everything is limitless and the possibilities are infinite. The possibilities are literally infinite. The anxiety that you may have about your manifestation and about doing things right is simply once again a belief and it's about you breaking that belief and breaking a belief is simply easy. Choose to really just flow within it. Stop worrying about the time. Stop worrying about the how. The how and the time are too pretty much two things that are very well known within manifesting but even if they're well known it still doesn't matter because they have no power and charge against you when you do sats you basically do it just to rewire your subconscious you don't look for the things when you rewired it for example you do the sats one night you wake up the next morning and you're like like no that's not it that's not manifesting that is not manifesting when you do the sats technique you wake up the next morning and you're in the state and you persist in the state and you're living within the state you've always lived in a state your whole life i'm not talking about the physical state i'm talking about the state of your being and basically when you are persisting in a state regardless of doing the sats or not you basically are choosing that and of course the sats is here to reprogram your mind it does the work I always tell people when it comes to talking about this that SATS really does the underground work for manifesting. 
Of course, throughout your day, you're going to be positive. You're going to think amazing. You're going to think from the wish fulfilled. You're going to think in the context that you have what you want and that's it. But what I'm going to tell you right now is that SATS is basically about reprogramming your mind. Of course, you can reprogram your mind. You can think certain thoughts. You can think a certain way. You can visualize. You know, you can just feel happy, emotion, action, all that. But reprogramming your mind and your subconscious at that deep level is basically something that's the underground work if you get what i'm trying to say so basically when you are doing subconscious rewiring programs sats whatever it is meditation prayers understand that it's not your job to worry about it you're not in control of you are in control of that of course like i'm not gonna sit here and tell you you're not in control because you're always in control but literally understand that that's not something for you to worry about there's certain things that you you need to worry about even though you don't need to worry about anything, but you need to worry about you just being the main character and that everything working out for you, everything's going amazing for you, everything's going so wonderful for you, but you're not gonna worry about how long it's gonna take because then why would you worry about how long it's gonna take if you had it already, number one? But regardless of having it already, number one, like why, like what, like you're rewiring your subconscious. You're, you know that thought is not even needed. Like that thought of how long is this gonna take? Why are you, you don't need to be needy for it. You know you're a limitless creator. You know you're not gonna die if you don't get it. Why would you give it that energy as well? But regardless of energy, understand guys, the time, the how, the when, those are things that do not like have anything to do with you. Like it literally doesn't matter. What matters is what you are telling yourself. When something may arise within your reality and you know you did the state akin to sleep technique, realize and tell yourself, wait, well, why am I gonna let this moment affect what I did already? Which is definitely gonna manifest, but I have a whole story that I'm telling myself. And I'd rather tell myself this story than allow what happens in my world to affect me. Because what happens in my world is simply something that I have a choice in identifying with or not identifying with. You can reject things that happen you can reject things that happen you don't see what people do when they receive failures was it really a failure if it was a part of your journey exactly so even oprah said it i always talk about oprah on my channel she needs to come on my channel but no literally you have options in identifying with things that happen in your reality and you're always going to have options with identifying with things that happen in your reality but it's up to you to persist within the new story the new story is only something that you persist in you love because that story is what makes you pleased whatever makes you happy whatever makes you feel good that's all that matters because in the end you are a limitless infinite creator nothing can stop you time can't stop you how something happens can't stop you you know that you got it in the bag and that you can get anything that you want like it's all done for you it's all limitless for you it's all effortless for you you have the infinite creator magnetic energy. You can manifest anything that you want. Think about anything that you want and just think about you having it because it's very much totally possible. If you can see it in your head, if you can feel it, if you can think about it, it's simply very much possible. And even if you can't do any of those things, it doesn't matter because you definitely can. You can have anything that you want, guys. This isn't cut off for anything. This isn't no specific do's and don'ts. This isn't requirement. Like, it's none of that. Stop putting your focus on how long you need to do a technique. Just realize and understand that that technique is just only to help you. The techniques really just do the underground work. Not only stay akin to sleep. Of course, stay akin to sleep does the underground work, but all the techniques for that matter within the law of assumption and manifesting do the underground work for you because you are the prize. You are the manifestation. You are your reality. You are your physical 3D. Your physical 3D world is simply you pushed out. That's literally it. I'm pretty sure you guys have definitely heard that from me because I've definitely said that on my channel, but your 3D reality is you pushed out. So stop worrying about the time. The time, time is limitless. Time isn't even real. Time is not real. So you worrying about the time has nothing on you, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I created this video with the intention of reaching every single person that it did, especially the specific ones that think the time and how matter when it really doesn't because that has nothing to do with you. You're limitless being. You're persisting in what you're persisting in and you're getting what you want because you got it already. And it's just that. You love telling yourself this new story because this new story is literally your reality. Your reality is you pushed out and you love that because it always works out for you, okay? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe turn my post notifications on to be notified every single time i post click the blue butterfly right here to subscribe and join the butterfly gang that is constantly evolving existing and experiencing within this beautiful reality butterfly gang is literally the most amazing community on this youtube channel and without further ado guys i will see you guys in my next youtube video i love every single one of you guys and i really need all y'all to know that you are limitless and you are effortless and stop putting so much attention stop putting so much focus stop putting so much of your thoughts on how long these techniques work do you believe in it or do you don't do you think that you can manifest or no exactly that's what i thought because you definitely can you can have anything you want you are a limitless being and i love you for that because i always love you 
you already know but i will see every single one of you guys in my next youtube video please be sure to stay elevated and stay manifesting like the legend that every single one of you guys are and i will see you guys later bye